Yo, how's it going you guys? New Age here with another episode of our Pokemon Showdown Ladder and Sessions and uh, today I have a fun team, one that I'm excited to use. Um, for one, I built it myself and you know, you can, can always appreciate the teams that you take the time to make yourself instead of just like taking them from somewhere. Um, but it, it does have one Pokemon that was copied, and that was uh, Mega Gyarados. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, Envy, Lord Envy, he's another YouTuber, uh, Pokemon Showdown YouTuber, and uh, he made a team a little while ago um, with this exact set, I believe. Wait, oh my gosh, really? Yo, I just played the last game. Okay, I tested it. <laughs> I tested this thing and I didn't even realize I had no HP IVs. Wow, okay. And I still put in the work. That was awesome. Why does that always happen to me? Like I forget to put forget to put EVs on things. Anyways, um it was this exact set, Rest, Sleep Talk, Dragon Dance, Waterfall. Um it's a really cool idea. Uh that I feel only really works like well with Mega Gyarados. Um <clears throat> But his thing was he was going for a fast, like hard hitting, extremely bulky like Gyarados. It's basically max max for like Spadef and HP and it's a careful nature. Um, the 20 speed IVs are to outspeed Megalopunny at plus two. Um, but the reason this works well is because um, things like unaware Pokemon or like water absorb Pokemon Thanks to Mega Gyarados having Mold Breaker is not affected by Waterfall. So basically, there's no such thing as an immunity to Gyarados's Waterfall, um, which exists with other Water Pokemon. Um, so the only thing that really like walls it would be really strong Grass types. But e even then, it's like we're Dragon Dancing, we're getting our HP up, and what are the Grass types going to do to us? They can't poison us. They can't put us to sleep, and our special defense like Gyarados has base 130 special defense like it's so high and so invested that the grass moves aren't even gonna do enough to us like we can recover the damage off the only instance where I think it doesn't really work out is against superior but if we get the speed before it gets the boost then we could probably I don't know attempt to beat it but as far as like the standard like bulky grass types go um, we could definitely, definitely wear those down. Uh, so we got Mega Gyarados here. Uh, next we got an offensive Rapid Spin Starmie. Um, this helps weaken Rotom, even though I don't really need it to, if anything. Um, it was just a good partner that was recommended for Gyarados. It's not even recommended for this set though. It's like a normal bulky Gyarados. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure I can just completely wall Rotom or if anything set up on Rotom with this set. Um, but I do like that it lures in like steel types and stuff <coughs> because I do have the analytic can empower fire and analytic gets boosted if they switch as well um, <coughs> so if someone switches a ferrothorn into me it's gonna be life orb analytic times four effective HP fire which might even just like blow it back I think it does because I'm pretty sure HP fire normally <coughs> without the analytic boost, I don't know, does like 70% to Ferrothorn. So, that's like a crazy amount. And then we got Rapid Spin on here. Then we have um, <clears throat> Hippowdon as, uh, what is this? This is just to take on like harder hitting electric types. Um, I didn't want to rely on something like Garchomp to be my elect electric immunity just because it's pretty weak to HPIs. And Hippowdon, I don't think, is as weak to HP Ice. Um, but we got the standard Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Slack Off, Stone Edge, all that good stuff, Sandstream. Um, and to pair with Hippowdon and the Sandstream, I wanted Excadrill. Um, nice SD Sandrush Excadrill. Just another, like, sweeper um, that could kind of... Basically can kind of punch a hole in my opponent's team while Gyarados just kind of sits back towards the end and like comes in if it needs to, you know? Like, 
Honestly, these five function as a team, whereas Gyarados doesn't really do anything with these Pokemon, it just waits to like take on the rest at the end on its own. Or at least that's the plan anyways, but there's Standard, Sand Rush, Excadrill. I like Air Balloon over Life Orb just because uh, if I'm Air Balloon, that kind of forces my opponent to switch out if say they're locked into a ground move or they only have a decent ground move to hit me with and nothing to hit me with first that means they either have to switch out or they have to hit me with a weak move at first that I'll live so that almost guarantees me a chance to SD and after that it's a wrap um, so Excadrill hip out on combo then we got uh, Landris basically just as Kind of a bulky pivot, uh, something that I could U-turn on as well. Also, um, I have it's more like a utility landers. If anything, it doesn't have stealth rocks. Um, it has like knockoff and toxic. Just complete utility can um, poison bulky waters. Like I ended up in a scenario where this dude was trying to set up on me with his Mega Slowbro against my Gyarados, but I had toxic it turn one with landers. And it's like you're not gonna set up, you're not gonna win this one v one because I have rest, I have more recovery than you do. Like you can't beat me paired with the toxic, um, so it worked out pretty well. And then last, um, I want a decent Keldeo switch in because my team is pretty damn weak to Keldeo. Also, like fighting types in general, like Mega Low Punny, um, I want some solid answers to that. So we got your standard Amoongus, Spore, Giga Drain, Clear Smog, HP Fire over like sludge bomb and like stun spore i guess you could say uh, but yeah that's pretty much the team so let's let's see if we can find us a battle and see if i can demonstrate the power of mega gyarados all right we got a game um one of the things that mv mentioned in his video too that was really cool is once gyarados mega evolves it's no longer walled by um volcanion which is really cool uh because I do have the mold breaker so you know that breaks through like water absorb or even like sturdy or something on here um, I feel like this is Charizard Y but I don't think it should be on this kind of team uh, so let's see I don't know who he wants to lead with my Landris doesn't have rocks so that's it's a little unfortunate um, I honestly feel like I could lead Starmie and just kind of go ham. I am fairly weak to Volcanion though, otherwise. I think I'd want to lead Landris. I can knock off an item on Ferrothorn. I can poison Volcanion if he wants to lead with that. Um, I don't think I actually outspeed. Yeah, well I mean, do they run max speed on Volcanion? Like, that's not a thing, is it? Yeah, they don't run speed on Volcanion. It's like a bulky attacker. Granted, I will die to this thing. But if I can poison it, that'd be pretty legit because then it's not as big of a threat to my team because I really don't have switches for this. So I'm gonna go for a Toxic. As he does have speed. So that's a little unfortunate. I mean, if I wanted to, I could honestly try and just set up on him now. I mean, my spadef is like ridiculous. Yeah, like this this thing cannot touch me. Should I go for it now? I don't want to go for it now. <laughs> we don't really have answers to this thing. I mean, I could have gone the long way around and gone Hippowdon and Excadrill and all that, but that's that's too much work. Now, do I Mega Evolve here, is the question. I think so. I don't see why not. Yeah, I'm gonna Mega Evolve Dragon Dance. I don't think this... Yeah, this thing can't touch me. And I hope he stays in trying to burn me. So now we'll be at plus two. We'll outspeed everything. And this man is about to get blown back. How much does plus two Waterfall do to Volcano? doesn't knock it out. I don't have any attack investment. I'm gonna go up to plus three. What is this dude doing? Is he like hardcore trying to burn me or something? Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep now.
Hey, <laughs> we in there. So we could even, I don't think plus three waterfall with zero attack investment will knock out fortress. Um, but we don't have to worry about the sturdy. Actually, it is a little sketchy because if he's cussed out explosion. Okay, he decides to switch into Charizard. Can we get the waterfall? No. Okay. Can we get the waterfall now? That was a little unfortunate. Yeah, it is Charizard. Why? So we're living hits from this thing for sure. As... What? Did I not go for sleep talk there? Okay. Well, that was a little unfortunate then. Um, plus three, Mega Charizard, Waterfall, in the sun does knock out Charizard, so I'm going for Waterfall. Um, he can go Fortress here, it's fine. Okay, that's cool, that doesn't bring him down to the sturdy, so I'm okay with that. Will Gyro Ball knock me out? Plus three speed. Gyro Ball doesn't do that much at all. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, if anything, I'm just going to rest here. Because that Solar Beam did a lot. And me not going for the... Uh, hello? And me not going for the Sleep Talk. I guess I misclicked. I didn't even see that. But me not going for the Sleep Talk there um, against Charizard kind of messed me up. Because I definitely could have got like good damage on him. Oh come on, just give me some moves, yo. That's all I need. Give me a waterfall. A hey, oh my gosh, that did so much. And we get the flinch. <laughs> oh, we're we're coming in. I mean, like, here's the thing. It can either it can be done like forwards or backwards. You can either save Gyarados till the end and clean up, or use Gyarados right away and punch the biggest hole in the team. I mean, Charizard is gone now. That was a major threat. Especially because he could get rid of my sand. So he's gonna go out Kazam here. There's no way this should be able to knock me out, so I'm going for Waterfall. And, you know, obviously the Sash. Yeah, nah. We are too bulky, friend. And now, at this point, he'd have nothing that can outspeed me. I'm Mold Breaker, so... Unfortunately, because of the sun, it doesn't do that much, but he really cannot do anything back to me. Um, I don't think I should rest here. Because he should not be able to knock me out. The thing is, I don't want him going out Kazam. I mean... Yeah, he shouldn't be able to knock me out. I didn't want him going out Kazam and hitting me as uh, he does get the burn. It doesn't matter though because I'll still at speed. But I guess we'll do what I said. Um, Alright, so this was my situation. I didn't want him going out Kazam and me not getting Waterfall. Granted, a Focus Blast won't knock me out, but if I don't get a attacking move two turns in a row, then he knocks me out. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Because, uh, <coughs> because I've done so much damage to his team already, I think Excadrill can kind of just clean up, or Excadrill plus Starmie. Um, so I'm going to sleep talk here, hope I get a waterfall. As I do, nice. So, and now the sun isn't up, so I do knock out Volcanion. I definitely knock out Landorus. Oh my gosh, this dude's team just got clean swept. Yeah, it's, it's GG for sure. Is most definitely GG. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's just like, is it time? I think so. Okay, let's win. Like, turn two. That's the thing, too, that even in Envy's video, this happened a lot where. People would constantly keep trying to status Gyarados, like they just keep going for Scalds, or in this case Steam Eruption, to try and get the burn to cripple me, because they're so reliant on that, and then they burn me and they think they're safe, and then you show the rest, and then they're like, oh no, what have I done, you know? So, 
in that situation, that's definitely why um, things didn't go well for him there. But Gyarados pulling through like a champ. Let's get another game. All right, we got another one uh, with a Mega Low Punny. That's scary. Uh, Dragonite. I don't really know how we got into Dragonite. I would hope I'm not too weak. Um, and a Latios as well. I don't exactly have anything to straight up beat Latios either. Like Excadrill can attempt to put him. If I get an SD up with Excadrill, I think I could just win. Um, well, if I get rid of Ferrothorn. But let's see. Let's see what he wants to do here. I'm thinking I do want to just lead with the Moongus. Unless he leads Laddie, then it's kind of really bad for me, actually. Yeah, I, I think Amoongus is my lead. Alright, yeah. Because basically I think Amoongus was my best lead against everything except Lottie. So I'm kind of chilling there. Um, and I'm just going to go for Spore. Like, if he wants to go Ferrothorn, that's fine. I have HP Fire, dude. Like, you you do you. You do you. But this is going to hurt. And uh, here, I think I want to go for Spore again. Yeah, because he's going to switch. And we do get to put the Latios to sleep, so that is really awesome. Um, so now... <coughs> I think I might go into Hippowdon and get up my own rocks. Maybe not. Let's see. Or I can go Landris and U-turn. Like, who's he going to go out into here? Because I feel like he might want to bring out Starmie or something. I think I'm going to go Hippo. Then, depending on what he does, I'm either going to get up my rocks or switch. Because <clears throat> I really want my rocks up. I don't like him just being awake like this, though, either. Or having the chance to wake up. Like, getting the sleep on Latios was really nice. Um, and I don't want to switch into a Draco, so I think I'm kind of just committed here. I'm just going to go for Stone Edges, do as much as I can. As that's actually really solid damage, I think with another one plus, uh, plus Life Orb, if he takes that, yeah, it's not knocking us out. Life Orb plus Sand, okay, plus the Stone Edge would have knocked him out. So that was really unfortunate there, actually, that we had to miss that. Um... I feel like we need a Moogus a lot more because we need it for Lopony, so I'm going to go out into Starmie here. Yeah, as I was expecting him to go Draco, 100%, um, which is why I said I would rather Starmie just go down than a Moongus take that kind of unnecessary damage. Um, so I think here, as unfortunately now, Starmie being able to hit Ferrothorn would have been nice, but that's, that's a little whatever. Whatever. Who do I go out into here? I don't want to try and set up just yet because his Ferrothorn is still healthy and he could easily leech seed me. Uh, I think I'm going to go Landorus. Go U turn. I think what I need to do is I need to try and weaken his team with Ferrothorn. Or sorry, with uh, Excadrill. So we do weaken that as he is uh, Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet. As his Latios is pretty weakened, um, it can't switch into an attack. So I think I want to go Amoongus again right here. And I think go for the HP Fire. Because he, he really doesn't have switches for this anymore. Yeah. Like if he wants to bring out Latios, it's fine. I'll sack the pout on, he'll die to Sandstorm plus Life Orb. Um, and I can still, well, if I sack a pout on and he goes Defog, then I can't get up my hazards. As he's gonna protect, but he doesn't have leftovers, so. So I'm assuming he has Thunder Wave, actually, but. I feel like. Latios could still... I doubt it'll die to this, but I'm still going for an Empire Fire. I see he's going to go out into Chansey now. Um, and I think I want to just go for Spore. I am actually faster than him too. Unless he has speed. 
Okay, so he does, that's fine. All right, so this is the thing that has Thunder Wave. Um, as I'm gonna go for Spore here, let's hope I can get it off, cool. Um, so now I can go for Giga Drain. Like he can't, he can't stay in on this thing. Okay, but I guess he's gonna try. Um, if we get this off, then he goes down. Does he defog and rapid spin? I mean, he's trying to pair on me, so if I can get this Giga Drain off, that's justice. I already did get paralyzed once. And I'm gonna keep going for Giga Drain because if he switches out, I'm I'm okay with that anyways, as this could knock him out. Yeah, cool. So Latios is gone. That was an issue for my team. Um, spamming Dracos and Surf, which he had too. Um, as he's uh, analytic star me, yeah, not natural cure, so I can't put that to sleep. Um, I think here, since he doesn't really have a way of getting rid of rocks, I mean, he has star me. I kind of want to go Landorus and then go like a pout on. Yeah, especially if he goes for fake out here, which I feel like he would. No, he went straight for return, okay. Um, but he's going to take the Rocky Helmet and all that. As here, I think I want to just U-turn in case he wants to switch. I can still come in on another round of rocks. As if he wants to attack me, that's fine because he's taking a lot of uh, Rocky Helmet damage. And now at this point, I think I think I want to go Hip Out on, get up the sand, then start trying to win with Excadrill. And then after that, just come in with Gyarados and win. I don't think Gyarados is the right play now. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's the right play now. Especially with like Lopunny still running around. Ferrothorn is getting pretty weakened though, so I would hope I could knock it out. Maybe with uh, Gyarados still. But I think I'm gonna go for Slack Off in case he tries to high jump kick. I'm assuming he'll return. Which, I don't know if I can live that, but if I can, that'd be awesome. I mean, my HP and defense is like stacked, bro. Stacked. So, I'm gonna go for Slack Off. If he wants to switch out, that helps me. If he misses High Jump Kick, that helps me. And he dies. <laughs> if he goes for Return and I live it, that helps me. So... I definitely feel like Slack Off is my best play here. Let's see what he wants to do. I kind of wish I had Smooth Rock on Hip Out on, because the sand ends way too fast. I haven't really gotten to abuse Excadrill yet. But at the same time, the leftovers recovery on Hip Out on is really nice. What you gonna do, bro? I mean, like, I could calculate because it's killing me. I need to know. Mega low pony. Yeah, return knocks me up. I guess he's calculating that. Maybe. I don't know why it's taking him so long. I literally did in like two seconds. But I'm fine with Return knocking me out because then I get to go Excadrill and kind of just blow back his whole team. Ferrothorn, I'm pretty sure, dies to Earthquake. Um, Starmie too, since it's offensive. Dragonite, I can go for Iron Head. Its multi-scale will be broken too. Chansey, I mean, Chansey is a switch, I guess, but it can't paralyze me, so. Let me see. I'm not Life Orb, that's the only thing. I mean, if he's just gonna run out of time, that's fine. Yeah, Earthquake does 35 to 41, so Ferrothorn dies. Um, switching into Rots plus Earthquake will knock it out. GG, I guess. Okay, well, I definitely think we had that one because I was cool with him knocking out Hip Out on. That's why I brought it out just to get up the sand. Because after that, I go Excadrill, and Excadrill knocks out Ferrothorn. Um, definitely knocks out Low Pony. 
I'm just I'm just checking everyone real quick just so I know. Definitely knocks out Starmie. Uh, Dragonite. After taking like 25% from rocks. Um, I could rock slide it. Dragonite was the only one I didn't think I would kill, but I know I would be faster then. And like even without the sand, even if he say went everyone else first and went Dragonite last and the sand was gone, I still have sped Dragonite. And Rock Slide does 59 to 70, it would have been at 75. Um, so Rock Slide itself even could have done a bunch of damage. And there's no way, I don't think it would have been able to knock out my Gyarados because I would have intimidated it too. Um, so like a 10% Dragonite against Gyarados and Amoongus. Chance he wasn't going to be able to beat Gyarados just because I had rest and he didn't have Toxic, he had Thunder Wave. So, we definitely like, in the grand scheme of things, definitely had that game. So let's find us another one. Alright, we got one with Mega Low Punny. Not bad. Hmm. I'm seeing a lot of decent setup fodder for Gyarados. Um, not really Magnezone. I could try it, but I don't really want to. Um, Mega Alkazam is could be set of fodder. It's not really though, unless I don't Mega Evolve. But either way, so what's he trying to lead with? Blast Score, Low Plenty Heatran. One of those, I'm assuming. Um, I think I really want to lead. I really want to lead Landris. Or the Paladon. Maybe even Starmie. Yeah, I kind of want to lead Starmie actually. Um, that's good for Heatran and Gliscor. And if he wants to go low punny, then I'm just going to go Landris, get the Intimidate off. Uh, he could fake out. He kind of has to fake out because I am faster than him right now. So he'll just take uh, some nice Rocky Helmet damage. And after that, I think I might go hit Paladon. Yeah, so he's gonna fake out. We gonna eat those. And then here, um, yeah, I wanna go hip out on. I'm not four times weak to ice with hip out on, like Landris is, and I get the sand up to do extra damage. He's gonna go rot him here, that's okay. Um, I think I want to go Among Us. I mean, getting up the sand is nice. He might just Willow. As he goes for the Hydro Pump right away, okay. Um, he doesn't have anything immune to Spore, so... Something is getting put to sleep right now. As he's gonna Willow, and he chooses for it to be his Rotom. Nice, okay. Well, now... Let's see. Alright, now he's definitely gonna switch into, like, Glide Score. Uh... I'm assuming Glass Score, maybe Low Punny. So, I think here I want to go out into Starmie. I really want to get in my rocks, but I'm, I'm not really having an opportunity. So, I'm going to go Starmie here. As uh, he stays in. Why? What are you doing, dude? Alright, well, here I'm just going to go for Psychic. It'll do over half to Rod. Oh, not? Okay. Well, now I'm in this weird position. Where... Like, he was asleep for so long, and now I kind of can't do anything about it. Um, I'm just going to go Hippo, get up the sand, and I'm going to get up my rocks. As he still doesn't wake up, but... I don't know. I mean, that's, that's Hippowdon's job anyways, so... As he's... He pain splits? Okay. What is he doing with this Rotom? <clears throat> like, I can really just set up on this thing. Like, if I really wanted to. I'm gonna go Amoongus again and just put it to sleep. Like, if he wants to leave Rotom in like that, that's fine. If he wants to go Amoongus, that's fine too. Or Volt Switch on Amoongus, that's fine. As he's gonna go Alkazam, that is definitely one of his better switches. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
I don't really think I need Starmie this game. It's like a... Well, no. It's not even good against, like, low pony. Um, I don't want to speed him, though. It's really just, like, a sack. Yeah, I think I'm going to change this... Because I don't really need it for low pony. I'm going to change this to Choice Scarf. But, like, Choice Scarf bulky or what? I'll, I'll, I'll get back to it. Yeah, so... I'm gonna go down, cool, and now I think I can go Gyarados. Let's see. Let's see. I wanna see how much Alkazam can do to me. Yeah, Psychic doesn't do that much at all. So I can maybe set up on him. I'm gonna try now because I still have the sand. Um, so I'm just gonna Dragon Dance. As he has Thunder Wave. Ew. Ugh, this is actually annoying. Because I can't rest here. I can't rest until he damages me. And I feel like I kind of have to go for Waterfall here, in case Low Pony. Well, no, I, I don't want to expect the Low Pony. I'm just gonna Dragon Dance again. As he goes Magna Zone. Okay. I mean, like this is <laughs> this is the true test here. How much I take from Magna Zone. Alright, if you specs, Thunderbolt does a lot. But doesn't knock me out. Plus two waterfall does a lot back to him too. Um As he might not be faster. 101 speed. Yeah, no, he's gonna be faster. So I have to mega evolve and then go for rest. As he goes for Flash Cannon. Hey, ya boy! Okay. So, if I can get two Waterfalls here, he's dead. Or flinch him. As he's gonna go Rodham of all things. Alright, I mean, it's it's a wrap then. Rodham can't do anything to me, dude. Like, you can't burn me or nothing. I'd like to get a Waterfall off, though. As he's gonna Volt Switch, that's not the play. I outspeed Low Punny, I'm pretty sure it goes down now. Alkazam can't knock me out with Focus Blast. Heatran and Glyscore die to Waterfall. And Magna Zone. Alright, hold up. How much does Flash Cannon do to me? So I'm gonna check right now. Flash Cannon did 17%. Okay, yeah, he's definitely Specs. So, Choice Specs does 77 to 92. So it definitely knocks me out. I do wake up here. I'm also at plus three now. How much do I do to him? 86 to 102. I have a good chance to knock him out, so I'm gonna take that. Let's get it. Yes, okay. It's it's a wrap. Uh, he can fake out with Mega Low Pony, but I do outspeed Mega Low Pony. I think he has to like, Go Alakazam. Well, if he has life form, then he dies. Focus Blast doesn't knock me out, I'm pretty sure. I think in that first battle, we went up against that, right? Yeah, life orb does 56 to 66%. So, we're gonna waterfall. As he is Sash, not life orb, so Focus Blast would, Focus Blast would do even less, and we do get the flinch on him. Yeah, Focus Blast would be doing 43 to 51. <laughs> so, Alkazam goes down here. Uh, let's see Mega Low Pony. Mega Low Pony dies to Waterfall as well. So, I'm just going to Waterfall this Rodham. I don't know how much it'll do, but Rodham can't beat me. Hey, Gyarados! Oh my gosh, put in the work! You can Will-O-Wisp me, bro, but... 
<clears throat> I'm just gonna rest. And he's so like persistent with staying in with his Rotom. And I don't know why. But I'm gonna sleep talk here. I guess his only hope, yeah, his only hope was right here. Oh my gosh, that did so much as he goes for Volt Switch and gets a crit. So now I'm pretty sure I'm in range of Fake Out, which is really annoying. Um, and now that Starmie's gone, I do need Gyarados to beat Heatran and Gliscor. Oh, uh, that crit was really annoying. Like, even the flinch on Alkazam, like, yeah, that was hacks, but that didn't matter. I'm actually not in range of Fake Out. It does 15 to 18%. So... I'm gonna go for sleep talk as we don't even get a hit wow okay what this dude just threw the game he stays in first off he doesn't even go for fake out to flinch me second he stays in to go for an actual move risking me not getting waterfall just to go for ice punch when return or I jump kick would have knocked me out so that was like his worst possible play right there, was trying to expect me to switch out. That was, that was bad. <laughs> and his Rodham, everything else died to Waterfall. One shot, without a doubt. Yo, Gyarados came through once again. I'm, I'm trying to get a game where I do it the other way, where I sweep with Gyarados at the end, but... <laughs> You know, you gotta you gotta seize that moment, that opportunity. Uh, but I do think I want to change Landers to Choice Scarf. Probably still keep the same move set, but maybe change up the the EVs and stuff a bit. Like I don't need Landers as a switch. I have a Pout on and a Moongus, so um, we'll get another game. And in that one, we will have a new Landers. All right, we got another game. That is definitely Charizard X. Um, yeah, I like this Landers set a lot better because it gives me an answer to Latios. I outspeed it and I knock it out. Either I knock it out with knockoff or it'll die to like, it'll die to knockoff plus rocks or knockoff plus sand, like a lot of things. But I have a 50% chance to knock it out with knockoff to begin with. So, and then U-turn does like 68, 66 to 78. So, and I kept it with Toxic because I'll always outspeed like the slow bulky waters. So they would think I could even bluff them thinking like that I'm not scarfed. Um, so I like I like this set a lot more. So anyways, um, Titar, Skarmory, or Clefable, I'm expecting. Um, I really don't have anything for Skarmory actually. Like it's scary how little I have for Skarmory. Skarmory shouldn't be able to do anything to a pout on if unless it has toxic though. So I wanna hope it doesn't. As he's gonna lead Charizard. There's no way this is Actually this might be why. Well then this was like the worst lead possible. <laughs> um <coughs> oh, that's really bad actually. I feel like I need Starmory for Starmory, <laughs> Starmy for Skarmory, if anything. Um, I guess I'm gonna go Lando. I'm gonna have to reveal that I'm Scarf, but yeah, he's for sure why. Um, but that's, oh my gosh, I don't even take that well. Um, and I'm going for U-turn here, just so I can go back out into a Poudon and try and get up my rocks. The only thing is, he's uh, he's got the same deal going with Titar and Excadrill, so like he he can take advantage of the sand just as well as I can. So a little a little sketchy scenario going on here, but we're gonna go for the U-turn either way, so that way we can go out into pound on and get up our sand again just so that way he's not hitting as hard um wow that still does a lot damn charizard your attack is crazy i'm just gonna go for stealth rock hey in case he misses we take those 
And now, I mean, I'm just going for Stone Edge. Yeah. So at this point, um, this is the only chance. Yeah, this is the only time I feel like Excadrill will do anything. So I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. Like, there's no reason why I shouldn't. If he stays and he dies, if he switches, he still doesn't break my balloon, and I can pop Excadrill's air balloon if he is air balloon. Since he's not, he can't touch me, so I'm going for Earthquake. Um, that was definitely a speed tie because we were both Sand Rush, but didn't matter. Um, he's going to take 50% now, as I don't think I need Excadrill anymore, so I'm going to stay in Rock Slide in case he wants to uh, Roost. Or in case he misses the Fire Blast. If he does go Fire Blast, that's fine. I didn't have anything to beat that anyways. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can go Starmie now. And just go for Hydro Pump. Yeah, I think, I think that's my play. Yeah. Nothing wants to switch into this. As the dude leaves. Well, I mean, he disconnects. So we'll give him a minute. See if he comes back. Alright, so the dude comes back, um, stays in, we just knock out Charizard with the Hydro Pump, not bad. Um, so at this point, unless he's like Calm Mind Lottie, he doesn't really have much offensive presence. But I don't... It sucks that he went out to Latios because... It somewhat forces me to have to like, sack something. Ugh. I feel like I had to go for Hydro Pump, as for one, we miss, and he is Calm Mind, so that's really bad. I'm just gonna go Amoongus here. I guess I should have done that to begin with, because if he wants to attack me, um, fine, that's what I need, um, and then I can put him to sleep after. Like, if he knocked me out, then I was just gonna go Landris after that. Um, so here I'm going for Clear Smog to get rid of his stat boosts, for one. Um, and then I'm going to go Landorus and hope he doesn't wake up here. If he does, that really sucks. Okay, cool. So now I can go for the knockoff. Um, nothing really wants to take that. Okay, so we weaken Lottie a lot. He does wake up here and goes for the recover. So that was actually a good play on his part. Um, <clears throat> as he only has Psy Shock and Draco. So I kind of feel like I can set up on this and win with Gyarados. I don't think I should take this route. Actually no, I feel like I have to go Gyarados here and hope he doesn't Draco. Yeah, I didn't think he would, but yeah, I'm just going to Mega Evolve right away, go for Dragon Dance. Um, he really can't touch me. I mean, I guess... Well, yeah, if he boosts enough, Draco Meteor will do a lot. Let me, let me see. Versus... Latias. Calm mine. As he's gonna go Skarmory, so... That is a, a good option on his part. Um, as he definitely has Whirlwind if he went out into it that fast. Um, plus one waterfall does decent damage, so I'll take it. As we get a crit, so not even bad. A crit flinch. <laughs> I was kidding. Um, but we are gonna take this double flinch, and uh, that might just be GG. Gyarados coming through like a champ. Um, I'm definitely going for Dragon Dance here, just to set up on this as much as possible. And if he wants the T wave, then we're chilling. Like, if anything, oh, he does have Moonblast. Uh, if anything, I'll Dragon Dance again. Um, I'm gonna rest here. Hey, we back in it. Let's get a Waterfall. Hey, gone. Gone. So, he has to go T-Tar here. Um, if we get Waterfall, he's dead. If not, okay, yep. I was gonna say, if not, I don't think he can knock us out. Unless he was banded. Um... Which I guess he could have been. I want to see. What does Bandit Tyrantar have? 
Yeah, if he has superpower, that knocks us out. But I feel like if he had that, he should have went out into that at an earlier time. Because I think Latias is bulkier, bulkier <laughs> than Latios. So let's see. I mean, we'll say max defense, I guess. Or max HP. Landers T. Troy Scarf. Yeah, he definitely could have lived a U-turn. I don't know. It, it was iffy, but with the luck that we did get with uh, our sleep talk and everything, I, I mean, we, we had it there. So not even bad. Let's find one more game. All right, and we got one. Oh, Gengar. How sad is that? It's not going to have Levitate anymore. That's actually, like, very disappointing. Um, anyways, anyways. So we got another Lucario, um, which that's scary. But now that we have Scarf Landorus, uh, we could definitely beat it. So I guess it's not as big of a threat. He does have Azelf. Um, hmm. What do I have for Azelf? Not much, really. I don't know if I want to reveal that I'm Scarf just yet. So I guess I will lead the Paladon. It'll break a Sash on Azelf, guaranteed, so that's nice. Um, and I'm just gonna go Stealth Rock. If he wants to taunt me turn one, that's fine. He just takes more uh, sand damage. And he can get up his Stealth Rock here. Does Azelf even carry, like... Like part of me wants to just go hard Excadrill and start going <laughs> going crazy. Um, but no, no, I shouldn't do that now. Now he's he is most definitely going for rocks here. Um, hmm. How much do I need Starmie? I feel like I don't need Star- like, why am I like sacking Starmie non-stop? I mean it helps me get rid of rocks, which is a big deal. Um, I definitely want to go Hydro Pump. Why'd he taunt me? That was like the worst play. Hello? <laughs> uh, unfortunately he can go Gengar here, so I have to switch. Well, actually no, I'm faster than Gengar. But he could be sashed. Um, so I think I do need to take a turn to like... I feel like I don't really have a switch for this. Unless... If he doesn't have Psychic, maybe. Then we go Amoongus. I don't want to go Amoongus though. Like it's my answer to... Azumarill in case it gets out of hand. Uh, Maybe I'll just go Excadrill. Yeah, because I still have one more turn of sand after this to be able to outspeed him. Oh my gosh, that does so much. Um, as he's life orb. So I actually could have knocked him out there. Why, why did he do that? I'm faster than him. Okay, okay, well. Um, I do, I think I just want to go for rock slide here. Like he's probably going Landorus if anything. Yeah, so I'm cool with that. Get off some decent damage, you know? Um, I do feel like he's Scarf Landorus. I feel like he's just gonna U-turn also. I'm gonna go Earthquake because his only options are knocking me out or going for U-turn, so... Okay. Okay. Or nah? Or nah? Nah, dude. Like, I'm not just gonna let you have at it like that the hell is this? I mean, like, what really can you do to my Hippowdon, though? I have to attack this, though. Oh my gosh! That did a lot. <laughs> um, He will be faster than me with the Choice Scarf, too. Ew. All right, I guess we have to, he's gonna knock off. Um, 
knockoff should kill here, so. And he can't kill me, I would assume. So, I'm just gonna knock off myself. Yeah. Unfortunately, now, I think I could lose to Lucario. Like, for reals. The only thing is he can't go Lucario now. Uh, I, don't, I don't like what's happening right here. This thing's gonna SD on me, isn't he? I have to go Amoongus. I don't think he knocks me out. Part of me wants to spore, actually. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh, and he has Bug Bite. I don't think I could set up on him right here. I guess I should have gone Starmie. That was, that was bad of me. I should have gone Starmie. Because now I think I lose to Azumarill. Um, hmm. Bow Punch does 26. So I have to rest here. That's not even cool. Oh, I'm gonna rest. I, I don't like it, but I am. Alright. So now we have to get lucky with some sleep talks. I kind of can't Mega Evolve. Ooh. Ooh. That's luck. That's luck right there. It, he still can't do that much to me. Alright, come on, Gyarados. Yo. It, nah. Come on. One more. One more waterfall. That's all we need. Yes. Okay. And we wake up next turn. Um, we can Mega Evolve. Gengar dies. Um... Yeah, so he has to go Azumarill here. Ugh, I don't like this either. Alright, Azumarill. Let's make a Gyarados. Waterfall at plus one. Am I only plus one? Actually, it does a decent amount, but not enough to knock him out. And if he gets to plus six, I mean, Aqua Jet can't knock me out or knock off. I feel like I have to stay in like regular form. Will play rough knock me out otherwise? Oh, that's a plus six. Uh, play rough plus Aqua Jet doesn't knock me out normally. So I think I want a waterfall here. Ooh! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we'll take those. Ah. Yeah, there's the citrus. As he does go for the player rough. What the hell? Why did that do so much? What? Oh, he's choice banded. No, he's not. How'd that do so much? Okay, well, that's really unfortunate, actually. Okay, it says Play Rough does 34 to 40%. How does he do 53? That's my spread, too. Oh, because it counted the Intimidate. Oh my gosh. I hate the Showdown calculator. That it just automatically, like, takes Intimidate into consideration. So yeah, Player Up did enough. If I had known that, I would have gone for rest. Oh, that sucks. And I don't have Recover on Starmie. So I have to go Landris. And I'm just gonna Earthquake. Should I Earthquake? Or U-turn? Or knock off. I'm gonna U-turn. Yeah. Alright, well... Yeah, we don't have recovery on this thing, so... We kinda just lose. I'm pretty sure. Unless everything just dies. We are faster than Gengar, we know it dies. I'm pretty sure Lucario doesn't die. I would... <laughs> You're, you played your Gengar so bad, dude. Alright, Lucario. Let's see. 
I'm pretty sure it does not die. Like... Oh? It does 92 to 109 Hydro Pump, so I guess we have a chance. Um, as far as the zoom row goes... It's a 52 to 62, so... Psychic doesn't knock this thing out. As he goes for Aqua Jet... Ew, yeah, I was like, please don't get rewarded for that. Um, Lucario... Oh, well that's the wrong set, but... Alright, well, let's Hydro Pump hope for the best. Oh, E-Speed. I didn't even look at that. Yeah, that's what I want to count too, how much... Uh, yeah, E-Speed knocks us out for sure. Well, that kind of sucked that I calced that wrong. I mean, that was all on me. But, I mean, that was a good game either way. It was a pretty close one. And if I am going to lose, I prefer that I at least put up a fight instead of just straight up dying. I I hate calcing things with Intimidate so much. Because, like, it's... Uh, just, just that it does it for you already. And actually... Maybe we'll get one more game. I don't want to. I don't want to end it on a loose. On a loose. Okay, and we got one. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, this dude looks like he just gets destroyed by Gyarados. Part of me wants to lead with it and set up, like instantly. I don't think he's leading Magnazone. Getting up. Uh, I don't need rocks either. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it. Let's leave Gyarados. Yeah, he's definitely leaning Seismitoad. Like 100%. As I'm just gonna start Dragon Dancing. You can toxic me all you want, bro. Plus two. Two Magnazone knocks it out, right? Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, I would need plus three. I'm gonna Dragon Dance again anyways. I'm assuming he is, uh... I mean, are you just gonna stand? Plus three knocks out Magnazone. Okay. Oh, my bad. What are you doing, dude? Plus three knocks out Magnazone. And I outspeed it. Or it does 99% anyways. Um, as I feel like I have to rest here, and now, now is the only time he could beat me with Magnazone. So he either s steps up and does it, as he goes hard into Magnazone. Yo, can we get Waterfall? Okay, so this shouldn't knock me out. I've already calculated this before. Troy specs to 70 to 83, so that does not knock me out. So if I get Waterfall, we're chilling. Let's do it. Let's do it, Gyarados. Oh no! Yo, what? He gets a crit on me? Okay. <sighs> That's so lame. Now he gets to revenge kill me with Weavile. That's so lame, dude. That's so lame. How much does I Shard do? Alright, I have to rest again. And then just hope to live a uh, Ice Shard. And get Waterfall. Thank you. Get out of here. Alright, so we definitely live Ice Shard at this range. Uh, but we have to pull a Waterfall. Otherwise... As he goes Volcanion, that's... I don't think that can knock me out, can it? Yo, get Waterfall again. No. Oh. Whoa, 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 what was that? Alright, I'm gonna rest again. Let's maybe hit Empower Grass. Alright, come on. Gyarados, we need the Waterfall. Sweep his team! Ah! Gone. I don't know if the crit mattered, but <laughs> I don't care. He got the crit on me. 
All right, so here, low kick does knock us out from this range. So let's hope we can get waterfall, please. Please, no! He went for icicle crash? Bro. <laughs> Bro. Why? Why did you go for icicle cr I guess he didn't have, uh, I guess he didn't have low kick. But that was nah. <laughs> that was nah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Clean sweep. <laughs> Even through all the hacks, Gyarados coming through. Oh my gosh. This thing. Ah, mm. oh, that felt good. You're just like, hey, your team looks like it gets six would by my Gyarados. Let's lead with that and make it happen. Oh. Alright, so it may require a little bit of luck, but the squad is powerful. Not even bad. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to end it off there, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm New Age Still. Keep on watching. See you in the next one. Later.